We're here at the Star Studded African Orphan Benefit, where the hottest accessory for tinsel tanners this year is an African orphan adoptee. And there's Madonna with her hotly contested son David from Malawi. Well, 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 what do we have here? It appears Suri's world is no longer unbearably lonely. Victoria Beckham continues to push the fashion envelope, donning a custom-made coat designed with live African orphan babies. Look at that stitching. Wow, the rumors are true. Selma Hayek has indeed had another pair of teats surgically attached in order to feed even more starving orphan babies. What a humanitarian. Oh my god! In a stunning surprise move, Will and Jada have broken with tradition and adopted a white African orphan. Where did they even find that one? The rarest breed of all! That's gonna be hard to beat. Brangelina and their 20 beautiful children appear. The kids are all dressed in hip camouflage outfits. Angelina is pregnant again. Brangelina's biological kids look like they're clones. All their adopted children are exotic, cool, and beautiful as well. Everyone gasps in awe and rapture. They pose on the red carpet while the paparazzi snap pictures. <laughs> Oh, it's no contest! The beautiful Brangelina clan has stolen the show yet again! There are just so many of them and they're all so irritatingly beautiful! Brangelina walks backstage. The second they are off the red carpet, 20 nannies swoop in and take the kids off in different directions. Brangelina posts for different pictures together. Brad, can we get some without the glasses? Brad reluctantly takes off his glasses. Whoa, Brad, where'd you get the shiner? My life companion's such a stud. He insists on doing his own stunts. He gets injured a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of clumsy. It's, it's no big deal. I'm fine. Really, I'm, I'm fine. As Angelina poses for another photo, something catches her attention. Oh my god, there he is. He's the one, the perfect addition to our family. Honey, I found our new son. Cartman's face lights up. Angelina approaches, arms extended. Would you like to join our family, little lovable orphan? Cartman runs to Angelina and hugs her enormous belly. Yes, of course. Shut down, Brangelina. Hello, tiny baby brothers and sisters. All of my dreams have come true. Yay! Angelina recoils and swats at Cartman. Ah! Security! Get this fat, disgusting creature off of me! Brad peeks out from behind Angelina, scared. Yeah! Don't touch her! And don't call us Brangelina! Security peels Cartman off Angelina. Wait! But you said I'm supposed to be your next son! You said I was the one! You said I was the perfect addition to your family, Brangelina! Quit calling us Brangelina! You think we're going to adopt you? <laughs> Not you, Mickey D's. Him. What? Starvin' Marvin? You gotta be fucking kidding me. We never adopt an American. There's nothing cool about that. Yes, we pick only the best looking orphans from the most exotic war torn nations to be our children. All of our adopted children are beautiful and perfect, like us. It would be unfair of us to adopt an ugly, obese creature like you. You'd simply never fit in. What? You're saying I'm uglier than a starving African orphan? I hate you, Brangelina. Stop calling us Brangelina. I have my own identity, damn it. I'm Brad fucking Pitt. Get over it, Brad. You're mine now, forever. Come on, let's go make our speech. Angelina grabs Brad and drags him on stage. They pass MIA. She has just finished performing and is berating her unborn child. You missed your cue, damn it! You were supposed to be born on stage! Better luck next time, bitch. Angelina steps up to the microphone. The audience applauds wildly. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. As you know, the plight of the African orphan is a cause Brad and I hold dear to our hearts. We pioneered the trend of rescuing these poor orphans. 
I encourage you all to adopt and, oh, oh my goodness, I'm going into labor again, again! Angelina roars and squirts out six babies in a messy gush. <laughs> six nannies rush in and clean up the six babies. Everyone in the audience applauds wildly and goes nuts. Angelina shrinks back to red carpet size and snaps. Twenty nannies rush in with the twenty kids. Photographers follow on their heels. A quick family photo shoot ensues. The photographers rush out, 26 nannies leave with the 26 kids. How does she do it? She's truly a role model to us all. From the back of the audience, we hear one loud boo. The audience parts and everyone turns to stare. Her? What is she doing here? Angelina turns to Brad. You invited her, didn't you, bitchalina? No, Angie. I would never. I swear. I don't even know why she's here. Angelina punches Brad in the stomach. Oh, whatever. She's no match for me. Angelina snaps. The 26 nannies appear with the army of kids. The knife in Jennifer Anderson's back twists. She falls to her knees. Ah! How can one person be so ruthless yet trick everyone into loving her at the same time? Why? You have to stand up to her, Jennifer Anderson. So she stole Brad Pitt from you. Big deal. Do you really want him anyway? I mean, look at him. Yeah, he's just a giant pussy whip douchebag. What's so great about him? The light of enlightenment shines down upon Jennifer Aniston. A chorus of angels sings. Oh. She stands up slowly. You're right, boys. What is so great about him? Why, he's the biggest bitch I've ever seen. You can have him, Angelina. In fact, I'll grant you your fondest wish. Jennifer reaches behind her, pulls the knife out of her back. A bolt of lightning strikes a knife and turns it into a sword. Jennifer Aniston points the knife at Brad and Angelina. I will turn you into the monster that you yourselves created. I dub you Brangelina. Brad and Angelina are enveloped in a blinding light. Now you're stuck with each other forever! No! They have merged into one grotesquely deformed being, Brangelina. No! No! Worship me! Adore me! I'm the most amazing woman in the world! <laughs> well, I guess you got what you deserve, Brangelina. Who are you calling ugly now? Brangelina sees Starve and Marvin. They extend their arms. Come to us, orphan child. You'll make them love us again, please. Starving Marvin looks around at Baron Africa and looks at Brangelina. Shaking his head in disgust, he puts on a Team Aniston t-shirt and walks away. No! <laughs> Great job, Jennifer Aniston. We knew you could do it. Paparazzi swarm Jennifer Aniston. They start to snap pictures. Thank you, boys, for all your help. You were right. They are just douchebags. Giant, egomaniacal, fame whoring douchebags. I have to fly if I'm going to make it to my movie premiere. Jennifer Aniston sprouts phoenix wings out of the wound in her back. She flies over Africa, making all of the land green and the rivers flow. There is food in abundance. She flies into the sunset. Good for you, Jennifer Aniston! John Mayer, you would never in her league. Admit it, Carmen, Brangelina sucks. And we told you Brangelina never adopted you, Carmen. You know, I learned something today. I'm just grateful to have a mother who loves me I can go home to. And you should be too, fat ass. Yeah, my mom. <laughs> right. I think my mom said something about going away for a while, guys. I'll adopt you, Eric. In fact... I'll adopt all you boys. Octomom! Run! This has been a fantasy production. That was easy. <laughs>